Welcome to Mysteries of Mars, an epic journey in which I present out of place anomalous objects and structures I discovered on Mars. I'm Jean Ward, independent South African Mars researcher. Analyzed in this presentation are anomalies that are discovered at a site in Tadavallis, just east of Mars 3 lander. The RS photograph is called USGS Dune Database Entry Number 2161-512, acquired on the 26th of October 2018 at a resolution of 25.2 centimeters per pixel. Yeah, we're looking at a crop from the low-res black and white photograph and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of the white objects that litter this terrain. The site we'll be analysing is right there. We have Tadavallis in this region and the coordinates of that site are roughly 50 degrees, 36 minutes south, 144 degrees 5 minutes west. So I'm including the scale indicator as usual to assist in estimating the size of these anomalies. So the first one you're looking at is right there. So that's 2010. So I estimate the larger disk at the bottom of this object is about 8 meters across and it's got this smaller disk close to the center. So we've got this slot running through to the center. This is very unusual. I don't know what to make of that, guys and girls. Right, let's have a look at the objects to the left of this photograph in a close-up. I'd say this is about 8 meters across. Got a neat opening and then this smaller part just slightly covering the opening. Got nice right angles going on here again guys and girls. And then this material on the outer edges partially covered in sand appear to be very thin material looks very much like some type of metal it's very odd right let's zoom in on the items over here I'd say that small block over there is let's see 2010 about 4 meters in length neat rectangular shape, slightly rounded corners, this object over here, the neat hole right there, some very odd patterns in these uh, features. Right, let's have a look at uh, this over here, got a small object in its center. I'd say that piece is about 15 meters across and it's got this small disc right there in the center. Right, let's have a look at the arrangement geometric pattern going on there. It's 2010. So I'd say the block of yet to the right is about 6 to 8 meters across. And note the triangular pattern, the geometry of the smaller parts that seem to be arranged in this triangular pattern to similar size objects, next one another, 
and shooting off perpendicular, we have that larger part. And I'll show you more triangular depictions in a moment. Right, let's have a look at the hole over there. I'd say that there is about 5 meters in diameter. Could this have been the cover? It's moved over to the left and it's partially covered in sand. Right, let's have a look at these slabs or blocks. The long narrow one I would say is about 10 meters in length. The nice right angles to these pieces. Straight edges parallel with one another. And then this block on the top. Right, let's have a look at this feature. Let's say it's about 12 meters across. And then right in its center we have this odd oval part. Right, let's have a look at the rectangle on that larger piece. I'd say that is any 10. I'd say that rectangle is about 4 meters in length. It appears to be a different type of material. It's a lot darker than the larger part that it's on top of. Uniformity in the width of that shadow that's being cast there as well. Right, let's have a look at this. It's also rather odd. I'd say that larger part is about 18 meters in length. It's got this weird smaller arrangement in the center and then these smaller parts arranged around it. Looks like some type of pattern over there. Then again, could just be natural, folks. Right, I haven't adjusted the contrast or brightness of the original crops from the photograph. So just that you can see how washed out some of these photographs are and how difficult it is to spot items in them. But nonetheless, let's have a look at what's going on over here to the top left. I'd say this larger part is about 14 meters across. Check out the small square object on the top. Very similar to the one we had a look at earlier. And then there is another triangular pattern. Two similar size smaller objects shooting off perpendicular to those we have that little rectangular part there also appears there's a rectangular opening in this part strange item close to the center of that part Okay, let's shoot off to Tadavallis, to that site. So this region is called Tadavallis, and the site is right there. Let's briefly scroll through those anomalies. I haven't included some of these in the presentation just in an attempt to keep it short. 
I might do a follow-up video looking at the rest of these items. Apologies if the image is a little jerky and not moving smoothly or scrolling smoothly. So it happens when there are a lot of images or thumbnails in a pin. in Google Earth Mars. It just goes on and on and on. As I say, many or all of these could be naturally occurring, but to me the patterns and the geometry and symmetry in some of these objects are quite compelling and I'd say we need to go there and check these things out I hope you enjoyed the presentation share your thoughts, opinion and analysis with us the small community let's have a chat and see if we can get to the bottom of what some of these might be just before I sign off a huge shout out to my friend Brian Corey Dobbs, writer and producer of the documentary Blue Planet Red, for his assistance and guidance in me designing a new brand and look and feel for my social media. I gave it a nice a retro synthwave look. I hope you guys and girls like the new look. Also, share your opinion and what you think of this new brand in the comments. I look forward to reading that. As always, thanks for watching.